How y'all doing, folks? This is Kilo Guy 5 November Uniform Bravo. KG5 NUB down here in South Mississippi. I just uh, I figured I'd do a video on this Ameritron ALS 500M with the 991A. <laughs> uh, I got the amplifier off of eBay for X amount. And I went ahead and ordered the interface. Got all that. Got everything hooked up. I ain't seen hardly no videos on YouTube, so I figured I'd down and do one. There's a couple things that you gotta do. You gotta go into your uh, settings. And you gotta go in and change your tuner from internal over to lamp. Hit enter. Yeah, I know it sounds weird. Yeah, that's the tuner. You get that done. Okay, that's ready. <laughs> yeah, it's still kind of bump fuzzling. You can tell I'm on 10 meters, 28, 450. Once you get that done in your settings, in your 991A, this in here is probably about a month and a half, almost two months old, give or take. Then, I done got my covers for my, my screws for the cover. I got them already pulled off. Now that amplifier is already ready to go for 10 and 12 meters. <laughs> it threw me for a loop yesterday. I could not, for the love of me, to get this work with 10 meters. And to come to find out, this interface, ARI 500, it comes disabled for 10 and 12 meters. I don't know why, but factory, it comes disabled. To make it work for 10 meters, you simply take that back jumper, and right there, it's going to be on that pin over there, ain't nothing on. It's going to be on that middle pin and that right pin. To activate 10 meters, you put it on that middle pin and the left pin in the back. That front stays where it is. Simple as that. Put the cover back on. I put the screws back on here in a minute. Then, you come to your amplifier, you turn it into remote. Okay, you turn it in remote. That's pretty well it. It operate on that like 991A on certain bands. One last thing I'll show you before I forget it. You come from your interface with that cable. You come around all back in here to tuner slash linear. That's it. That is it. As you can tell, I ain't got nothing else but the uh, HF and the 6 meter, the cable for the interface, and the power cord, and that's it. That's all I've got. Alright, you get all that done. Make sure your amplifier is in the auto in the remote position. Power on, stuff like that. I got the volume down on the 991A. When you spike the mic, of course, make sure that the you got standby and you got operate. I don't know if you heard it or not, but the amplifier kicked in to a point. And of course, you're gonna have two red, a uh, red and green light. The power comes from the amplifier. The red light is a link. Let's you know it's hooked to the 991A and it's okay. You make sure you can operate. Flipped up. And then, you take your microphone. I don't know if you hear it or not, but the relay is clicking in. Kilo Golf 5 November Uniform Bravo. Kilo Golf 5 November Uniform Bravo. Okay, I don't know if you heard the relay or not, but you seen the needle work. And what I'm driving this with is an Ameritron RS70M, 70 amps, 
and what I'm driving this stuff with. And one thing I noticed on the 991A, you can only run a maximum of 10 watts. If you run over, over 10 watts, you're going to kick the load fault. I found that out yesterday. So, run your 991A to 10 watts. <laughs> That's the most you run. And everything will run fine. Kilo Guy 5, November, Uniform Bravo. Kilo Guy 5, November, Uniform Bravo. It's pretty simple. It took me about uh, 15, 30 minutes yesterday to get everything all figured out. I'll put this screws back on this cover here in a minute. Get that done. And this thing's good for 500 watts. I wish I had a meter to where I could see what it's actually putting out. That will be hopefully by Santa Claus. And one last thing I need to forgot to show you is on this on this interface. You got remote in the front, of course. And in the back, you got amp. What I done, you ain't got to do the same thing. You got you got A, you got B. Same thing in the front of the amplifier. You can't see it. What I did, I went in my B, I went black. And on the amplifier, it's got B, I went black. That way B for black, B for black on both ends. And I went A is gray. A is gray. It's pretty simple what I did. It's, it, it suits me just fine. And I've got this uh, interface from Gigaparts. And uh, I think I can't remember exactly what I paid for it. But I just, this is the second day I've got it hooked up. I figured I'd do a little small video of it. Kind of give a rundown. But uh, if you don't want your amplifier to work, there you go. Now you can jack your watch back up on your 991A for 100 watts. As long as you in standby. Or if you don't want to, you ain't got to. Flip it back up. And you get your link light. It comes back on. Let you know everything is up and hunker door. And like I said, make sure your knob is in remote. Folks, that's it. That is it. That's the Maritron ALS 500M and the 991A. I figured I'd do a little rundown on it, kind of give you all a heads up. If y'all got any questions, comments, leave them below. I'll try to respond as quick as I can. Kilo Guy 5, no understanding boy, Echo Mike 5-1.